Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel The X Wing. My name is James, and uh, welcome to the month of review, uh, October 2023. Audio format only, but pre recorded. Um, the reason why it's pre recorded, I have a few issues being live, so um, I decided uh, I'm not going to go through the uh, going through live uh, again for a bit. Uh, so I decided to do a pre-recorded one and it's a lot easier to, just to do it this way and um, yeah unfortunately I can't bring you live for this month um, like I did the previous month but anyway it's the way the system goes sometimes unfortunately uh, but um, uh, we'll get started in the regards of uh, the uh, videos, um, the Twilight at Moravan Airport. Um, that was a real good uh, video. I really enjoyed doing that one because um, I did a day one and it was pretty good. Uh, but I wanted to do a Twilight one. Also, I actually want to do an early morning one at some point, but I'm not too sure exactly when I'll be uh, doing that. But um, yeah, that was really good. I um, I sort of worked it out to be where the sun was behind me. The problem during the morning one at Moravian Airport is <coughs> is um, the, uh, the uh, sun will be in, direct, in the direct line of the camera. So I've got to figure out a place where to do an early morning one. So we'll, uh, we'll work that one out. And number two, uh, Clyde Reserve uh, in Cranbourne. Uh, this is a drone video I did, and um, it was reasonably popular. About 33 people uh, viewed it, um, and, um, yeah, it was a video that I wanted to do for the last 15 months, and um, I couldn't really do it because they were redoing the whole area, so it's taken them all this time to do it. So I was finally, you know, a tick off the list on that one. And, um, yeah, I was quite happy doing that one. Uh, number three, uh, the 360 uh, view at uh, the uh, reserve I normally do just behind the shopping centre at Parkmore. And um, that was quite good. And uh, it was three different spots. Uh, one was the tennis centre uh, or tennis courts. Uh, the other one was a, a play centre area for the kids and uh, a water feature one. Now, I did a ground-level uh, video of that whole area and probably be out next month. Um, I'm starting to slow down a little bit with the videos now because uh, we're getting towards the end of the year a little bit, so I'm starting to slow down a little bit. Uh, still got plenty of content between now and, and Christmas to show you, but... Um, but the format would be next year would be probably not as many videos um, next year. But uh, we'll, we'll have a talk about that at a later date. Uh, the next one, number four, Cranbourne Station. Uh, another drone video with the Mini 2. Uh, that was really good doing that. I've been waiting to do that one for a while. <clears throat> I, actually, I think I did that one on uh, Father's Day. Uh, here in Australia and um, yeah that was quite good uh, got to do the new station as well as the old train line that used to go out to Gippsland uh, area um, and uh, like one faggy and all those areas um, unfortunately that train line will never be open again uh, it would be really good to reopen it, but they've got a lot of uh, houses around that area now where the train line used to be. So, yeah, so unfortunately we won't be uh, seeing any trains out that part of the world again, but, yeah, that was a pretty good video. Uh, video number five, uh, Steamroll Victoria Gippslander. Now, I didn't go to Gippsland, but I uh, couldn't go because I had a few car issues. So I was able to film it uh, going to Gippsland around the local area where I live and the return trip back, which was on a Monday. It was over a four-day weekend. 
I've seen a lot of people's videos of it. it uh, yeah, been very impressive with a lot of people, especially with the drone stuff too uh, at uh, Stratford uh, Bridge there. Uh, that was uh, pretty awesome actually seeing that. And, um, yeah, it was it was good to see other people's videos. And my video, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say it was, oh, it was spectacular, but, I would have, like, done the whole lot, but unfortunately I couldn't get there. Um, my understanding of that was that um, it was highly um, highly successful. And um, so, yeah, I was really happy that it was successful because the chances are we can get to do it next year, hopefully. Fingers crossed if they have a return trip out there next year. Um, so, yeah, so that was a good video. Uh, video number six, uh, episode 17 of uh, Suburban Stations and Trains, but this time we're at uh, Webster Train Crossing just outside Danlong. And, um, yeah, that was pretty good. I really enjoyed doing that, all the bells and whistles. And there's a few more crossings I've done, so keep your eyes out for that one. Uh, number seven, episode two of um, Country Stations and Trains. Um, uh, this one here at Garfield's uh, station was quite good. I really enjoyed doing that. As you see in the video, you can see the uh, country service coming around the corner from, uh, from the trees, and it's an absolutely spectacular view. I've got that in mind for a potential uh, uh, steam train event uh, that's going to happen in November. I'm thinking about going there to film it there when the steam train comes around um but garfield stations one of those small country stations on the uh, gippsland line uh, going out to bandstale and um so yeah um really good uh, there's going to be a couple more of these country stations i'll do over time so keep your eyes out for that one uh video number eight uh which is the uh Tulip Farm special event. Um, they have a tulip farm up in the Danlong Ranges uh, during our spring, and uh, yeah, it was really good. Uh, a good event. Um, me and my wife went, as you could probably tell at the end of the video. You saw a picture of me and my wife, and um, yeah, it was a, a good event. But um, I think the price structure of it was, you know, a bit high for the quality oh, the quality was quite good but i actually thought it'd be a lot more bigger place to film and it wasn't really that big it's a bit like say uh, after five minutes i finished filming basically <laughs> so <laughs> it was it was okay but the price was i thought it should have been at least ten dollars cheaper than what it was it was two two dollars uh to get in and I reckon it should have been probably about $20, to be honest. But anyway, that's my opinion. Um, VO number nine, the Lynchy um, Mini 2, first time ever for that program to be on the Mini 2. I uh, did that at Noble Park, uh, the um, local sports area just down the road from where I am. And, um, yeah, it's the first time I did it with the uh, Mini 2. Uh, for that program, and uh, will be probably a few more programs with that over the time, and still got the mini one. Uh, I, you know, get the mini one out occasionally. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was a good VO in itself too. I really enjoyed uh, uh, doing that one. Um, suburb uh, uh, church. Um, it's a, one of those overseas churches in um, Caysborough I did. And that was like a 360 view as well. Uh, but I did that one manually, and uh, that was really good doing that one. Um, I, I like to get a few photos of the, the churches and videos because there's a few uh, churches around um, the area I would uh, definitely like to do. And um, hopefully um, I'll get a chance to do that. And you might not see them this year, might be next year, um, because I've got a lot of videos I need to sort of pump out 
between now and end of the year. And uh, so, yeah, that was a pretty good. Uh, number 11, uh, another entry mission at Keysborough with the Mini 2 Dodger. Um, I know you've seen uh, a few times these videos, um, a few times. So, but uh, this was the first time with the uh, Mini 2 at Keysborough. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, video 12, episode 18 of Suburban Stations and Trains. This time we were at Danny Long Station. Uh, that was pretty good. Um, a fairly lengthy one because it's a fairly big area to cover. Uh, not only you've got the train station there, but you've got the buses and taxis and all sorts of things there. So, yeah, that was really good to, um, uh, to do. Uh, took me a, a few hours to do that video too, just quietly. So, yeah, so interesting video, and um, I was quite happy uh, with that one. Uh, number 14, um, episode, uh, oh, hang on, no, 13, sorry, 13, um, special events, V8 Sandown. Yeah, I actually popped in to um, Sandown briefly uh, and I did some VOing of the uh, V8 cars going around the circuit there. I did one uh, last year with the uh, Mini 1 but this time was a ground level uh, version of it and that was uh, quite good. I enjoyed doing that. Um, all right and uh, number four. Now, now we're right. Number 14, episode 19 of Suburban Trains and Stations. But this time we were at uh, Westall uh, watching the diesel train. It's a concrete train. Uh, well, I mean, they had concrete in the, um, in, inside the, um, I wouldn't say carriages, but inside the set. And, um, yeah, that was quite good. I actually enjoyed doing that. Uh, something a little bit different. Uh, I don't normally do diesel trains per se, uh, but it's something I might consider doing over time, uh, doing those uh, diesel trains. And, um, yeah, that was really good. I really enjoyed doing that one. And um, so, yeah, keep your eyes out for potential other ones coming up in the nearby future. And uh, number 15, a uh, special event, uh, Dan Long Park. Uh, now, this video just got released uh, yesterday, so I haven't seen the numbers yet on it, but um, that was a really good uh, park to do. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and of course, it was during our getting into spring because I think I did it back in August, and uh, so the flowers were starting to bloom and everything like that. So I was really happy with that and uh, gone to it. And, uh, yeah, it's really good. I really enjoyed doing that one. And I hope you guys enjoy watching that because it's something a little bit different. It's a bit of a walkthrough. Um, we'll see how this one goes because I've got another one to do and I uh, might put that up this year. Now, um 16 and 17. Now, these were live events. Now, I did a little bit of an experiment um, doing a VO uh, going from uh, for my TV. It was a live event with Julia Flights. Now, uh, as I said in the description in the VO, uh, you can look up Julia Flights um, uh, all the links and so forth are in the description. Uh, this was at uh, Brisbane Airport. Now, um, I do like planes. Uh, that's another passion of mine uh, besides uh, steam trains. Uh, planes I like uh, filming. And um, Julia Flights is quite good. I actually quite enjoy her channel. Uh, so, yeah, uh, just check it out, guys, in the... Um, in the live part of uh, the videos um, on my channel, uh, you'll see um, Julia Flight simulcast with the X-Wing. So I was able to do that off my TV. Now, the first part of it wasn't too bad. Um, so I've been experimenting with a few things like that. 
And the next one is uh, from the same airport, from Brisbane Airport, uh, Only Planes Network uh, with Matt and Jones. Um, they've, they've just started out on their channel. And, um, and once again, I did put the links uh, in their channel in the description. So check that uh, channel out. Uh, it's uh, They're just starting out. Uh, I like their channel. I'm uh, actually monitored to on their channel. Uh, so I try and get on there as much as I can uh, when I've got the free time. But um, I did get permission from both, uh, from Julia Flights and Only Planes Network to simulcast um, the uh, video onto my channel. I like to try and get a way to simulcast it in, in the proper format. So I'm trying to work out the details of that. Um, so, yeah, so I hope you enjoy those uh, two live events. It was something a little bit different for my channel. Yeah, at the moment, I'm um, tinkering around with my laptop uh, to do... Um, uh, last last time I did my laptop, the camera on the webcam was really crap. So I've now come up with the idea of using my um, Sony Cancord cam camera and to do a live feed. Uh, I was mucking around with it the other day, actually, in a private format, and it turned out quite well, a lot more better than the actual webcam on the laptop. So, um, so in future events, um, I might be able to do a live feed or if I'm on someone else's show, um, at least they can see me a lot more better in the old uh, webcam. Uh, so I've been mucking around with that. We've got a converter now, uh, which is a HD TV game video catchment card, and that sort of pitch all that stuff into my laptop and it works out really well. It took me a while to get around to it, but I uh, got there in the end. And I can fit it to my phone. And um, so so I'm tinkering around with that at the moment, guys. So I might do another live um, format with uh, Julia Flights or Only Planes Network at some point uh, just to see what it's like. I did a bit of a test run the other day, actually, um, at night. It works better at night than what it does during the day. So we'll see how it all pans out. If they do another night flight or something, or I might do a pre-recorded one, uh, not like this format, what I'm doing, but it would be live on my channel, but they've already done theirs, so it'd be just a copy off the TV. Uh, I would like the idea to simulcast it onto my channel so not only they get lots of viewers from my side but I, I might be able to get viewers from their side as well and help each other out and that's what this community is all about the youtube community helping each other out and, and so forth so um but uh, yeah so i hope you like all that uh, format um next month uh november um, I'm going back to do a four-day format with the videos because we are, we, as I said, we're getting towards the end of the year. So um, probably won't be getting out as many videos like I have the previous month and this month. Um, so um, we'll see how it all pans out. Um, I'll still keep on putting the shorts up every so often. But, uh, yeah, I am just want to start slowing down a little bit because we, you know, as I said, we're getting towards the end of the year. I'm having a few weeks off at Christmas, so it won't be any formats or anything like that on my channel for a few weeks. Uh, I haven't worked out the dates just quite yet, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to take a bit of time off. Um, and we've got a few steam train events. Uh, we've got one on the uh, 11th of November. Uh, that's going out to uh, Gippsland, uh, Maui. It's a special event out there um, and some sort of festival out there. So I'm, I'm sort of hoping I may do that one. Uh, unfortunately, it won't be a shuttle service. It'll be a, um, more or less a, um, 
you know, chase and train, which I'm, I'm not a really big fan of that, but uh, I might get a few locations sorted out. We'll see how it pans out. I haven't really sort of committed myself to that one just quite yet. But there won't be too many steam train events. Um, now, oh, yes, yeah, so now before I go, uh, Season 2, Episode 4 will be coming up very soon. And um, there's only going to be four episodes. Uh, the fifth episode will be basically a photo video of my journeys over the past um, four, <coughs> four um, episodes. So I will finish up out season two. Um, I did a poll about season three. Uh, very much overwhelming uh, people want me to do a um, waterfall one. So we'll, um, there's a couple of waterfall ones I've worked out, but I'm not too sure what starting date would be season three just quite yet. Um, it won't be until much later on in the year. So we'll see what happens there with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, I, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, month of review. Unfortunately, as I said at the beginning, uh, I tried to do a live one, but the audio decided to crack up and... I didn't want to go through the rigmarole doing a live one again and the same thing was going to happen. But at least this time around, I'll be able to just play back just to see how it's all going and, yeah, and just release it onto my channel. Um, so we'll um, catch up with you again, guys, soon. Um, um, I think we've got five weeks, I think, between now and the end of November. So it'd be an extra week. So it'd be five weeks away before the next monthly review. But I think I say the monthly review, if I get the audio right again next time, it will be an audio um, live one. I actually wanted to do three live uh, audios just to see, but, yeah, it sort of buggered that idea up. I've got other commitments, so I couldn't really do another live one again. Uh, and um, so yeah so I hope you like the format audio format guys um, yeah as I always say just leave a comment down below what you think of the audio format uh, I still haven't worked out uh, details about the podcast um, yeah when I come up with these ideas I was like yeah and then when I sort of think about it it's like yeah a bit of work and effort so I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see how it all pans out. Uh, I'm not going to make any big serious commitment. I might do one, see how it goes, and then, yeah, and as I said, Dad, we can have people on and so forth. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, And as I always say, guys, um, you know, if you're new to the channel, press like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you don't miss out on any future video content and um, comment would be great. Uh, leave any comment uh, in, in regards to this video too, guys, um, what you think of it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll um, catch up with you soon, guys. Uh, thanks for listening and thanks for watching. And um, we'll catch up with you next month, guys. See you later.